Hello and welcome to Switch Underground. My name is Danny. We are back with some more Crash Bandicoot. It's about time here on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going right now. Oh, well, how come we were down there and now we're here? So we played that one. And we gotta go play this one. The Dino Dash. Eggy Post Dimension. 88 million BCB. I hope everybody's having a good day today, man. If it's morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, I hope you are having a great day. And hopefully this is a good week for you. Um, it's the middle of the year. So it's at this point where we start checking in with like our, uh, our uh, New Year's resolutions. And... For me personally, uh, on my birthday, I was like, you know what? The next three years are going to be my years. They're going to be awesome. And am I sticking to it? Kind of. I mean, I'm doing like little things. I'm pecking away at my goals, like trying to make sure that I get the comics, comic books caught up. I'm in a really good groove with that, um, where uh, I'm reading two comics a morning, and that is really working out for me. Oh. Well, I see that that particular little platform there goes away. Oh, I see. Oh, well. As uh, Trev put it, everything in this game can kill you. Everything. And we have already died three times, and we haven't made it 30 yards. So how about them apples you know whenever I think about how about them apples I always think about uh, goodwill hunting when he does that scene oh look at these little dinosaurs what's up and uh, he's at the bar and he's talking to like all the the dude bros and he's like well guess what do you like apples and he's like I got a number how do you like those apples Ooh, a checkpoint thank you Oh, good. We got... We got, uh... We got the transform thing. Oh, good. We get to go on another thing and try to remind ourselves how to... So, A. A would be the active, uh... The go below button. And that rock right there can go, uh... Straight to hell. I mean, no if ands, or buts about it. Well... Maybe a few butts. Big, big, big ones. Just like in the Cable Guy. Do you guys remember that Cable Guy movie with Jim Carrey and like Matthew Broderick? And Jack Black's in it too? Oh, I see. So how exactly are you supposed to uh, get past a big mushroom that seems impassable? Impassable is like impossible, but impass, you can't get past it. Okay, so this is fine. It's all good. This all makes a lot of sense because you're here and what you go down you go up maybe you're supposed to uh can you double jump on this thing maybe if i use my abilities it makes the mushroom go away of course that makes sense because the mushroom was blue or it should be blue but it's not blue but that's okay because we were supposed to see that blue mushroom out in the distance and we were supposed to put that together you know what I mean? We are supposed to be smarter than these mushrooms. And we're gonna go down below. Of course, I can't see anything now where I'm going. So hopefully there's nothing up top here that gets me. Well, there was a big dinosaur, but that's okay. Well, we got through that part. And now, of course, we're going this way where we can't see anything again. Something's gonna be chasing us. A big... A big old dino boy is going to be chasing us. So, let's be mindful of that. Not that one in particular, but you know. Yes, that one in particular. Come on, dude. Alright, let's go. Big moves, big moves. We're going to set the death record on this one. We're going to set the death record on it. And that's okay. Because, you know, it's just like my playthrough of the troll and I. What doesn't kill you, uh, you know, makes you stronger. Et cetera and so forth. Oh, 
course, we're going to put some boxes there, of course, that are going to blow you up. That makes a lot of sense. There's another hole. Hey, there's some more boxes that are going to hurt. Oh, God, my thumb. My thumb slipped a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're just, we're just cruising now. Suck a dick, T-Rex. Checkpoint. Easy. You know what I like about this game? You can just, like, get on it in, like, the first try when you try to do something. You just do it, dude. It's, like, so easy. So easy. I mean, look at that, dude. Just checkpoint after checkpoint after checkpoint. Trying to rem- Oh, yeah, of course. We're just gonna cruise. We're fine. We're literally going to ride this out. I'm not worried about any boxes. I am a little worried about that. Okay. He's fine. Oh, well, that hurt a little bit, but that's okay. That dinosaur is hungry. He is uh, clearly in need of sustenance, and we are uh, very happy to oblige him. You know, speaking of oblige, I watched uh, that, that news movie with Tom Hanks last night with the wife. And uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not sure why we get a little drunk there. You know? I mean... I didn't see any White Claws in the game. But, um... I should, because I love White Claw. A lot of people don't. And, uh, much like Candy Corn, I catch a lot of flack for that. Oh! It's the drunk shrooms. Those are the ones that get you. Oh, and where are you supposed to be? Oh, you're just death. You're just death. You know, I wonder if I can even hurt him. Oh, I see there's a bonus level there. But uh, we're, we're clearly going to skip it. At this point, we're just kind of trying to get through the main story so that we can set this cartridge on fire. I'm trying to think if there's ever been any game that I've regretted having to play through here. Uh, Planet Alpha kind of chafed my ass a lot. That's like the only one I can think of that was like ridiculously unfair. The minecart levels in Pumpkin Jack kind of got me pretty good. And... Um, Obviously, this game here has provided its own challenges. I say challenges. I'm trying to be nice, dude. We're just going to smack those guys in the booty hole. Yep. Yep. Nailed it. Give me a checkpoint, please. Thank you. Nice try, you silly dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Can't go over them. You have to time this in such a way that you can actually slide under it. And also be on the, uh, the next uh, thing there. Oh yeah. We're nailing it. At least those stay. Nailed it. Okay. 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 This is a joke. Oh, well, there's the drunk shrooms. We don't want that. Luckily, there's a checkpoint right there. Even without the drunk shrooms, it's challenging. Like... Oh. Let's add... Let's double down on that lava mechanic. But then... But then what we'll do is we'll make the whole damn thing fall apart. Throw in a couple more drunk shrooms. Put in some of these. Make sure the player is on their toes the whole time. Because if they're not, they're screwed. Oh, boy. If this was a 3D movie, that thing would have been coming for me, huh? Okay. Let's channel the speedrun. Easy. And some drunk shrooms and a slide. Some more of these one of those 
Yep, some lava. More drunky shrooms. Some of these. Dang, that's the same one that got me last time. And now the dinosaur jumps and rubs his gigantic member into my eyeballs. And boy, was that exciting. We gotta throw in some more lava. We got an angry T-Rex. That's not even a T-Rex, dude. What is that? A, a Dominibus Rex's little brother that nobody likes. That they have to invite to all the birthday parties, but he's like super annoying trying to win everyone's affections. And you're just like, my god, you're only here because it's the only reason mom would let me go. Yep, yeah, there he is. Just crashing the party every time. And I mean, we've all been in contact with that sibling. Some of them are cool, dude. Some, like, little brothers and stuff, it's like, you know, I'm cool, I just want to be here, and I'm excited to be a part of it. But then others are, like, attention-starved and wanting to steal the show. That is what this T-Rex is. He's the attention-starved little brother that nobody wants to invite. Wow. And who am I? The lame-ass that has died 23 times in one level. I'm curious now what the record is, because uh, we might have, we might be setting it here. Yep, 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 yep. Let's make the world fall apart. We are loving this. We are just loving this, dude, so much. This is so fun. It is channeling everything that we need. It is a test of will, uh, patience, uh... Oh! I see. So he's gonna jump there and not give us any time to jump across. Now that, that is solid game design. How awesome. Dark Souls, Crash Bandicoot. I saw poor Trev, Mr. Lord Shmup, watched one of my videos there and decided to play the trilogy on his stream. And I felt bad about it. I'm like, Trev, just, just no, man. Like, these games are so punishing. It's crazy. Like, I kind of get why they have a cult following, because the skill cap is so damn high to be good. It's insane. Oh, well, fuck are you. Enjoy that, uh... Enjoy that lava, turd. Hey, we did it! First try. Well, that was just... easy. Cutscene. Wake up! My goodness! If it isn't Lani Loli, how are you, brother? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but existence could end at any minute, so can we hurry? Sure. Uh, when's existence ever done anything for anyone anyway? Oh, apathy. Oh, don't mind Grumpy Gus. He's always a downer. Is this mask yeah, gonna have us turn the world me. upside down? No matter. Nothing matters. Now that we found Ika Ika, that's all for. What's next? We can't close the rifts until we stop whatever's opening them. That would be entropy and his precious rift generator. Sounds like it's time to kick some entropy butt. True. <laughs> oh my god. If there's a mechanic that turns the world upside down, I might just vomit. When you think to yourself, how can this game get any more difficult or... Rage inducing. May I assist? That is 100% it. Well, where am I supposed to go? Aha. We're going to space. And there's a crocodile level. Cool. Bermugula's orbit. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's get through this one. Out for launch. Is this a boss fight? Are we getting towards the end of the game now? I doubt it, dude. No way. This game just grabs you by the balls. And it's like, every time you think you're getting close, it just yanks on them. And not in like a, hey, let's tug on the ball bag in a sexy way. In like a, 
F you, I'm trying to hurt you way, and that's no bueno. Oh, look at that. It's a pizza planet. Oh. What's up, Dingo Dial? Dingo Dial? Easy, chums. If I was here to fight, you'd be cactus. He's with me. Found him lost out there. Hey, Caught it's our favorite girl. Time space, you know. Thing. She's my favorite yeah, character. Just trying to get home. I was enjoying the retired life, see? Got it. Our bad guys had a change of heart, too. Bad guy? Oh. Silence, will. The good sir! You try my patience, Oxide. But, no, no. I'm sure this insect knows how to obey an order. Entropy. Take your ship to planet Bermugula and be on the lookout for ships approaching the rift generator. We can't afford any unwanted visitors. At once! Your foulness! You manage our affairs with such poise. Naturally. As do you. Ah. Wow. We got double entropies here. Ooh, with, with, the, with the claw thing? They do that. <laughs> You know, after playing uh, Rift Apart, dude, which I am totally ratchet and clank. Oh my god, the animation style in this game just reminds me so much of oh, no. Okay, yep, that's a bomb. It. Wow, this. Sucks. Why in the hell would this be in the game? I knew they were gonna do it as soon as that mask had up and a downside. I was like, they're gonna do the gravity crap. Let's just try to make it through this one without incident. There will be incident. I'm not even gonna bother with the boxes, I'm just trying to make it. I can't tell if that's a, a plus for the game or a minus. Most definitely a minus. Well, that was easy. Really no checkpoint in here? That's garb. This level looks really cool, though. Ah, right. Throw yourself off the cliff. That is what's needed here. What is with games and doing the wall run thing? Oh. So are you gonna do that for a while or uh okay. Thanks. Oh boy, here we go. Straight into the box. God damn it. child be likely to say to their therapist about you? Probably a combination of good things and bad things. Yeah, my dad's pretty cool. He's pretty supportive and, you know, always offers to talk to me and stuff, but then he kind of roasts me all the time at the same time, so I'm getting, like, mixed messages. And, uh, I just don't know how to deal with that, Doc. What do I do? Okay, so how do we, how do we run this? Alright, we're good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good. Checkpoint? Beautiful. No, not you. Okay. Oh, sugar pie honey bunch. You guys remember that? Temptations. Ah, yes, of course. Sugar pie, honey, you know what I mean? That was a good song. I liked it. Let me, let me rip gravity here. 
Wow, then we gotta rip gravity again. Okay, I don't know how that worked, but here we are. Okay, so now we gotta do this thing. Can I just get up there without doing the gravity stuff? Hey, that worked out. Oh, there's a big ship here. Oh, that's no good. We're running. We don't need a tractor beam. Oh, there's this thing. We go up. We go up. We go up. We go up. We jump. And we're here. That's good. Oh, another wall riding section. Always a plus. At least we can stay attached to the wall. Unless they decide to throw some dynamite in there. Which is totally possible, or we'll just die immediately. Like, how are we supposed to get past that, honestly? Oh, now we gotta do this fun stuff again. We go down, we go up. We stay here, because who gives a duck? We're gonna hit those, we're gonna grab this thing. We're going over this side. You hear our sneakers, dude? We got some, some wicked sounds coming from our shoes. We go down, and we go up, and we ride it out, grab us a grapefruit, and we're good. It's just like punching in a bunch of emojis on the Tinder, isn't it? I don't know. I've never been on Tinder, but I hear it's a wild, wild place. Okay. So this one... Gonna be tricky. Gonna be tricky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god, I don't even know how to run this. Ugh. And the checkpoint, of course, is way back here. Totally needs to be another checkpoint closer than this, but hey, whatever. It's all about... Have I guys told you about my Troll and I playthrough? So, after episode 2, um, I got stuck. And it really sucked. And I had to play the entire game over to get back to where I was. And boy, let me tell you, that was interesting. I will give it though, the game does have skippable cutscenes. Oh no, okay. Okay, so we got that going. But then there's the box there, and we're just like, you know what, we're not gonna bother with that box. We don't need to bother with that box. Game is gonna need to throw me a bone here with a checkpoint ASAP. If we don't get one, I worry about our sanity. Because honestly, this game, these crash games in general, seem to be a test of one's ability to maintain composure under, not pressure, but um, some sort of uh, injustice, maybe? Uh, a not fairness of the world? Okay, we got that one. We got that one. We're good. Oh, what is this tomfuckery? He shoots, he scores! Oh god, what the fuck are you? I would have been so pissed if that stupid alien... We're going down. We're going to the side. We're going to this side. We're going back up. What are you shooting at? Get out of here with that. Okay. That's fine. At least we nailed this one on the first try. That is like kind of what I was worried about. You know, hats off, man, to anybody who has made it through this game without breaking something. Besides their spirit. Everyone's spirit gets broken in this game. It is insane. And they say the trilogy is called the Insane Trilogy? No. 
Here's what I worry about with the... What the fudge? How do we come at that guy? Do we just jump over him, you think? Okay. So what's he gonna do? Shoot your shot, asshole. Oh, I see. There you are. Nailed it. Man, we are so good. Hey, there's a checkpoint up there. Oh, no. Not this shit again. Oh, my God. Are you serious? So we gotta go here. We gotta hit... Hit the transform. Or hit the hit the anti-gravity shit. Like right in the middle. Bounce it over. Come back down. Hit a nitro box. And just annihilate ourselves in the face. Yes. This is what I would call fair and balanced gameplay. Like this part right here. What is that? How in the hell? Uh-oh. Now I gotta try not to hit this box. Oh my god, that was stressful. Actually, you know what? I've become so desensitized to it that it honestly doesn't even matter like I can just skip these guys and I don't care fudge I hate that one in particular I watch a lot of people make the uh, the crawfish boils on TikTok, and I wish nothing more than for those turds to be a part of it this one right here yeah you you just gonna take this elevator down, no problem. End of the level's gotta be coming soon. Of course, it's gonna be locked behind some bullshit. Oh my god, what is this? That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god, and we're back here. Oh, the shenanigans. Luckily, we're pretty dialed in. This this would be super easy. Like if we were in a speedrun situation, no problem. But now we have the knowledge to get through this particular part right here. And we will do so without incident. Oh, we're going back up. We're staying up. Oh, we're going down. Oh my god, something happened. We made it. I don't know what the hell you're cheering for. That's a cool skin. Too bad we will probably never unlock it because we like ourselves. What a game. <laughs> oh man, freaking Crash Bandicoot. Oh, we got options. But I think we're just gonna keep going the right direction here. What is that supposed to be? A shipping error. And this is what? Oh, the flashback tapes. Okay, so. When we come back, we'll be, uh, well, actually, after this, I get to play some, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, which is always a breath of fresh air. And I always usually play it after Crash because it's like the de-stressor, right? So, uh, be good to each other, man, and I will see you guys back here in the next one. Take care.